To use the memory vial spell, you should cast it directly on yourself. Memory vial. Immediately cast the side along apparition spell without any delay to swiftly move both yourself and the memory vial away from an incoming wizard's attack. Side along apparition. When you notice a wizard preparing to cast a spell, act quickly to shield the memory vial by immediately using the Protego spell. Protego. Now, use the available spells to defeat the attacking wizard. Sendio. The Witch Snowballs. Cast the Incarceress's spell to ensnare the wizard and pull them closer towards your position. Incarceress. Immediately cast an Incendio spell directly at the center of the wizard's position. Incendio. When you sense the wizard preparing to cast Avada, immediately launch a spiked frisbee with the top two frisbees slightly overlapping the wizard, and the directional arrow slightly tilted upwards. This will ensure you slip away from the lethal Avada spell. Find flies! As the stage begins, move your character near to Kevin, ensuring that there is a single tile separating your character and him. When a wizard attacks you, immediately summon two Mertlaps between yourself and Kevin, so they can begin to run between you and provide healing. Mertlap. Mertlap. When Kevin runs away, Ensure you move vertically while maintaining the same distance, shielding him from the horizontal projectiles from the wizard's attacks. Once the first phase of attacks ends, quickly summon two additional Mert lapses between yourself and Kevin to keep up the healing process. Unfortunately, there may be times when Kevin is incorrectly aligned, leading to him dying. In such situations, your best course of action is to keep trying until you succeed in effectively shielding him from the wizard's projectiles. Can't they retract him? Following the use of the Carpe Retractum spell, wait patiently until the top wizard begins to cast the Avada spell before taking any further action. As the top wizard is in the process of casting Avada, Wait until it extends its hand and use Flipendo at the same time to push the crabs towards the marked spot on the screen. Flipendo! There might be times when crabs randomly jump to other spots and disrupt the strategy, but even so, the marked spot is still the most consistent spot to throw the crabs at to ensure the tactic works effectively. Alright, let's give it one more try by tossing the crabs towards the marked spot to see if we can reproduce the same effect again. Summon a Death Eater to engage and attack the troll. When the three trolls are lined up close together, cast the spells Incarceruses and Sectum Semper in quick succession to maximize the amount of damage done to all three trolls at once. Use the Crucio spell together with the Death Eater to effectively defeat the Fiend Fire. Norwegian Ridgeback! Start by summoning a Death Eater, and then immediately push the egg towards you by casting Expulso at it. Cornish Pixie! 
Utilize the power of your Death Eaters to charge up the Avada spell and successfully defeat the wizard. Death Eater! Cornish Pixies! Expulso! 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 Death Eater! Cornish! Death Eater! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. I can't believe when she actually ended up as a comedian. We'll need to figure out a new plan since the sweet shop is messed up. At least you performed your first Expecto Patronum. I now grasp what is meant by the term psychic shock.